sell it to Martin. Why would you want to do this? What's the benefit of, of what's the benefit of keeping your money here rather than keeping your money here? Hi. Sorry, you shout out again. Most of these. Um, hi, hi. Um, I'm okay, but I don't okay, know. I don't, I don't next one, uh, one. 
how you move money into the system. Now, that's the simple part. The more complicated part is how to move money out back into or out of the project. That's the more complicated part. Because if you're moving it directly back into here, what happens? Hello everyone, welcome to this very special class. It's so exciting. We have one of our last masterclasses. I say last because we're still putting together a lot of very interesting information for you. But this is actually the official last masterclass with Norma de Saint Pickman. Now, if you want to follow this video as we're doing it live on Facebook, you're going to have two opportunities. Firstly, to watch an amazing Franco-Slovenian artist at work in her own physical process, taking us on her creative journey, really mapping out what it's like to actually go into a creative process because you know this masterclass is called Creativity as a Catalyst for Change. And she's gonna be demonstrating this to us, Norma de Saint Pickman, and then we will have a, a break where you'll see a video and we'll move to another session where you actually have a chance to do some of your own creative process. So if you have some coloring in pencils or maybe some different uh, crayons in the house, maybe you've got your kids nearby, you can ask them to borrow some of their stuff. Maybe you wanna actually do this with paint and actually uh, get that all ready either in the video when we run off, you can go and pre prepare your stuff or maybe you wanna fetch it now or get someone to bring it to you if you can, so you can watch this beautiful process unfolding. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Norma de Saint Pickman. She is a woman I met at the Women's Economic Forum, but she's also the director, founder and CEO at Nora Vision Gallery, Nora Vision Decentralized Arts Ecosystem. And she has various projects that she runs and she's going to be talking about those and we have a beautiful way to learn more about her work as well through one of her videos today we'll be showing that. And we are so excited to have you Norma thank you for joining us. Thank you Annalik so much i'm so happy that uh, finally we, we, we can speak and uh, discuss and uh, exp ex explore different things together like this. So yes it's beautiful. So for those of you watching, I want to just make sure that on the live stream, you're actually getting a bigger picture of what's going on here because somewhere I see that it's not reading all screens. And I want you to notice that as you watch this video, you'll have two chances to see Norma. One is from her face sharing what she's doing. And another one is where she will be actually demonstrating her work. So Norma's going to tell us a little bit about her beautiful spectrum of creative work and if you can Norma take us through where you are also now in your creative process and what you're going to be doing today for us to watch. Okay so uh, thank you very much uh, Helenique so really happy that we can uh, continue our discussions because actually we met in the bus to this Myrot uh, for the gala celebration of, of you know uh, Women Economic Forum in Egypt, and we were talking about sustainability projects. So maybe um, let me. Okay, I will introduce me briefly. So I'm Norma de Saint Pickman. I'm intermediate artist, painter, and sculptor. And like Helenik says, um, I'm also running. Uh, I'm founder of Nora Vision Gallery and Nora Vision Decentralized Arts Ecosystem. But I'm also working on the two different pro three different projects, Noravision Decentralized, Noravision Solar and Noravision Bridge. So, uh, but now uh, we'll I will start um, with, with me. <laughs> so actually, um, I, for me, uh, for, for expression and also why we are, we are taking this class and why we are talking about creativity now it's also because uh, of this lockdown that we we have been um, obliged to to be more with ourselves. So in this way, we have also the extreme possibility to to dive within ourselves and to find uh, 
to find the, the processes and to find the gifts which are uh, in, in ourselves. So for, for accessing those gifts and for now our inner world, we have sure many different, um, how it's called, many different media and many different, so we can do through, through visual expression, through musical expression, through drama, through dance, uh, everything. So I know, Erenik, you are also doing music uh, with drums and also this kind of uh, expression. Uh, so, but I, I'm mostly working on uh, visual arts and I love to, to, to have many, to, to explore many different techniques. So, the first, um, what can I say? The first idea uh, of, of uh, kind of sketch. So I, I will start, I will do just little sketch because sketching actually is the first idea when, when whatever, whatever, uh, it doesn't import which medium we are going after. If, if it will be graphic or or a painting or design or a sculpture, but for the our for fixing our our thoughts, we use the very simple um, utils. So pencil and paper, the, the most the simplest ever. So I'm just going to 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 do br brief. Um, uh, process, processing just uh, just to 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 enter in all this creativity process. So I will do one face. Um, I hope you are seeing <laughs> because uh, I'm very much figurative. So I love um, working on the maybe maybe Hrenik, you can uh, sh show the the video on the main screen now maybe. Yeah, there we've got it. And you do that so quickly, my gosh. Yeah. Did you all see that? That was the quickest sketch I've ever seen. So this is what a sculptor does before creating a sculptured work, right, Norma? Yes, yes. It's, it's for everything, for architecture, for painting, for sculpture. Uh, I was, uh, now I, re I remind, um, I was very, it was amazing when I was uh, seeing these um, uh, sketches of um, Frank Gehry, uh, architect in, in uh, Centre Georges Pompidou in Paris, because um, they were really, or no, in the um, Fondation Cartier, um, Louis Vuitton, in fact. But uh, the sketches were so dynamic, so vivid, so uh, I cannot say it was really uh, one one moment, maybe it's f three minutes or five minutes, really. But and then after he was uh, explore, he was developing the idea, he was doing the maquette and all this. But the first was really a drawing. So. For me, um, as I said, I'm always obsessed with 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 the faces, with feminine faces, in fact. Um, and oh, now it's going. <laughs> I will see you there. So, Norma, uh, just to um, mm -hmm. say that I can see you on the main screen on the Zoom, but I see people on Facebook cannot see your main video. Uh -huh. Let me just see. Yeah, you can try. But, uh, if you, you have to, I, I see now you because you did not. You have to to uh, epingle the video, which one you want to show on the main screen. Yeah. And I have I have done that, and I see you on the Zoom. I see your main screen with the sketch, but when it streams to Facebook, it's not showing that one. Yeah, uh, I was looking at the screen. Uh, at the no. previous uh, um, strings, always it's always only you on the Zoom on the Facebook. It's showing only you your face. No, it starts like that. But when you click the gallery view, uh -huh. it's going between you and me. And now the gallery view uh -huh. is all three images. Let me see if it will pick up all three images and reset it to take it back to you. I have to stop speaking, so let me mute. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, but maybe now, I, okay, if you cannot uh, do now, I will go. Uh, if you can. I don't know. It's yes, it's uh, what's it's frozen somehow. No, it's, it's okay. It's okay. But I when, will, when you uh, speak, the, the screen switches back to you. So I think. This is why it may okay. be, I will, I will, if, you mute, I will take this. if you mute your main screen okay. and on the one where you are sketching, this might keep the image on your sketch without it moving back to you and then getting confused. Let's try that. So you mute on your main one and just let your voice, but charge your picture, but just speak on the voice of the one that you're using to sketch here. Yeah? Yeah, it doesn't work. I can't hear you now on the other one. So uh, you're going to have to, I think, uh, keep yourself on with the main picture. I've got a response from Facebook that people are seeing three, four pictures here. And let's just keep listening to you as you sketch and just make do with the fact that you have you and the image, but not just the image of you sketching alone. Yeah. And I'm going to mute so there's no confusion from me. Go, go ahead. Okay, I will. Okay, so now um, I will do the, uh, the the round in the gallery now. So uh, I will start because okay, we start with the sketch is the most is the most primary, most basic thing to do ever ever, and then we have different materials. And here in gallery are mostly um, three different techniques. Um, so we have ceramic. We'll go show, I will go to show you now ceramics. Um, ceramics, they are, these are ceramic plates. Um, I love all, oh, this is uh, abstract. Uh, this is, yeah. And uh, when I was a child, my mother took me near where, where I was uh, uh, sleeping. He put me a mirror image of, uh, of a Picasso, um, this, uh, um, painted, painted uh, uh, face, and I was very, I very, I was always smiling when I was looking at this image. So okay, now uh, I continue. I continue with uh, ceramics, uh, terracotta. So this terracotta, the, I will do around, and I will go after to show a little bit each each sculpture separately okay so wow, all this <laughs> all these uh, ceramics all these um, sculptures are in fact uh, made from uh, these tiles for the roof for this is I, this was in one ceramic factory um, in this so uh, if I go more near um, all these are, uh, in fact, ceramic tiles, um, roof tiles, when they were fresh, uh, sure. And uh, oh, how it's called, I'm not going to, okay. And it's difficult to, to <laughs> with, uh, with computer, it's not like uh, with mobile, it's better with mobile, okay. So we have face here, and we have many of these uh, structures, because uh, it's some kind of a uh, little bit aggressive process when I do uh, with, with kind of nails or other uh, pointed objects to, to have this, this structure. And uh, the, the title of this sculpture is Le, Le Grand Vide, that, uh, the big blue, which was actually the title of one uh, Godard film. 
Voila. And okay, and in the background, I don't know, we have a big painting, which is actually this blue uh, painting, yes, which is actually the first painting um, I made this uh, summer. It's kind of abstract painting, and it is mixture between collage and oil painting and acrylic painting. So if we go uh, more near, we 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 see see the texture the, the texture. So here is it uh, kind of um, the uh, the shire, um, paper which was it was the shire a collé ensuite. Okay, sorry. And um, yes, so it was the first of the, my uh, water paintings. We continue with ceramics now. This is African Queen. African Queen. So um, I love very much this kind of um, ornaments uh, directly on the on the skin and uh, all this kind of floral, vegetal um, kind of things uh, which are which are going out of. Her, her head. And for the other painting, I will go after. So this, uh, so the, all this um, series is Guardian series. And uh, here is Hermaphrodite. So Hermaphrodite, we know this Greek uh, mythology uh, between um, feminine and masculine to be on one, to be uh, not to be separated. So here we have this kind of embodiment of this, uh, this meat, metallurgic. Um, this sculpture is actually a homage to uh, Prince, uh, Prince the, this uh, singer, which was uh, dead, I don't know, two or three years ago, just uh, the moment in 216, I, I suppose, um, or, so I made this, this sculpture. It was like a homage, I think. Okay, and then we have uh, another, another guardian here. And with all these flowers here on the head. <laughs> and this all is kind of, it's technically, uh, technically is the, is the, it is put in the kiln two times. So first is the like, these are just one time where, where there's no color and these are two times, this is uh, enamel. Yes. So here, uh, here is the spirit of the forest of karst here. And this is um, in fact, um, a little bit inspired by Angelina Jolie Malefic. So uh, here, <laughs> here is the face. Yeah. With all these uh, things, all these structures I'm doing with, with nails actually. And here, but I'm a little bit. So this one is Marguerite de Valois, okay. So it is a round uh, of um, ceramics. And now I will go the second technique. The second technique is the collage. Uh, and in this collage uh, paintings is, are actually um, collage on the wooden panels. These wooden panels actually are the old furniture. So it's kind of uh, from the bed. It's the old bed and it is utilized to uh, so here we have Melania, uh, in fact, uh, with the kind of rain antlers. And I have been doing this series of women with, with uh, deer antlers, like this is me, <laughs> and this is uh, Jackie, Jackie Candy, because it was a series of, of um, women of presidents, of, um, yeah, uh, these wives of presidents, uh, which I, for whom I made um, 
kind of this is for in this case is the symbol of a kind of viral power and because all and melania and jackie they they were cultivated and they were also artistic inclined but somehow they are not they don't have the, the power of their husbands <laughs> so it's um, i was a little bit um, of this different, uh, different of to uh, to dynamism. And just technically, technically, I want to show. So this is um, photos are manipulated in Photoshop on computer, uh, and on, after they are digitally printed, and after. Uh, I'm applying these gold leaves, golden leaves. I'm applying, um, this is cafe, donc, uh, this is cafe, which is mix, mixed with some, uh, uh, some, some, something to, 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 for, for the collage of, uh, of the wood. So it is, it fixed, it, it stays like this. And, in fact, uh, this is uh, this was exposed at uh, the the title of this uh, exhibition was Parallels Diana's Croon. Okay, because Diana's also I have uh, other images of Diana, and uh, it was in Snežnik Castle. And in Snežnik Castle, it is in interior of Snežnik Castle here. And actually, the the, the woman who was creating uh, this exhibition was a soulmate of, um, of Melania, because it is not so far from, from the city where, where she is born. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and then we, so we have uh, been what, seeing we, the, the ceramics, ceramics which is uh, once uh, only made, put in the kiln, and then the second time is with a little bit uh, color. And we have been walking, seeing these collages on the wood. And now I will show you polyester sculpture, sculptures here. Here. Um, actually, uh, these were uh, priestesses. It was a project I made uh, for, to, it, it was exposed in Ljubljana uh, on the one park. Uh, and I was dancing then on the on the middle for the opening. So there, these are a kind of um, woman Buddhas, and uh, actually they are made um, the from polyester. The initial sculpture was made uh, from the clay. Also, the, it was like ceramic, and then uh, we had to do the the, the mold like this okay and here i just show briefly it is a, it is a aquarelle, aquarelle uh, of my mother alinka <laughs> kampichman i don't know if you see um she's doing very much uh, she's architect and painter and uh, she's combining these uh, free lines with free, uh, very, very dynamic free colors. So uh, she has this kind of uh, uh, concept that line is, is uh, living separately and the colors are also living separately life and they are both coming together in the, into harmony, but with, with respect of the freedom of uh, each one. Um, so now um, I don't know what's what's I have to put a little bit uh, electricity otherwise we will be off. Okay. Um, now really maybe... very captivating, very beautiful work, Norma. Thank you. I have <laughs> such a very specific uh, attraction to expressing the feminine and the priestesses, the yeah. goddesses. You say, and then you also had this very interesting word where you called them guardians and was that different to the other ones which you, you called goddesses or were they actually uh 
priestesses. Uh, priestesses were it the, it was before because uh, at that time I was uh, I was very much engaged in um, transcendental meditation. I was actually uh, also I was six months in Russia to to do this teacher teacher training course uh, for Maharishi's transcendental meditation. And at that time I was created I have been created th this um, project. The project was much bigger. It should be there should be 60 females and 60 um, males uh, Buddhas, because uh, I was impressed with this uh, group meditations. But always they are separating men and women uh, for for the siddhas yogic logic flying. So uh, it was my inspiration at that time, and I would it was my kind of um, expressing this because I was not really teaching after this technique, um, but I was transferring it, it visually, like this. And the guardians were more, were more um, inspired by, because in the middle of those guardians project uh, was a big sculpture of, me, of king and the queen. And there was really big, maybe I wish I can show after some photos, but, uh, we were going on the artsy page. I think they're, they are there. Uh, because they are really very big, two, two meters long about. And I was inspired by this Etruscan uh, sculpture in Louvre. Uh, there are men and women uh, in this half, half line position, um, also made from the ceramics. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't. Yeah, you 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 uh, would like to say something or? Um... I just think it's a very beautiful collection of work, and that's what I was telling people about your work is that you you make these female Buddhas, and that they they make a statement even already uh, in this name because we know that so often we see the spiritual development of a person shown in the male body. And we mm -hmm. don't often see that example in the female. We have female saints and female deities and female examples of what people consider holy. But often when you see a meditator, for example, it's a male statue. Yeah, yeah. So this, this was very strong for me when I saw it in the booklet you gave me. And I also think the message is very strong there as well as the one about the, the hermaphrodite, which you know is a mm -hmm. very powerful um link with Aphrodite and the island yeah. I'm from is all about Aphrodite so it's a very strong uh, way for us to begin to understand again what we mean by working on ourselves mm -hmm. as women and men to balance this feminine energy and the masculine energy and yeah. I just want to remind people that this is also in the meaning of that ancient uh, style of understanding the psyche was when they created these hermaphrodites and they named Aphrodite with a bearded Aphrodite in that way there was this kind of understanding of merging the opposites and for you when you created that I just wanted to ask you what your meaning was in it and what your process included in that you mean um, especially for the hermaphrodite or yeah. for yeah for, um, you know I'm working quite um, spontaneously uh, on the based on the uh, let's say exterior triggers so my exterior trigger at that time was that my father has been um, reading um, because my father actually is a physician a quantum physicist and my mother is an architect painter so they are very old now. They are 19 and 88. But my father is still, uh, he, 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 he loved to read. Um, like he was reading when I was little, he was reading me Odyssea and Iliada, you know. So when I was little, I absorbed this. Uh, actually, it was in Slovene, but it was a very good uh, translation. So this metrics or uh, hexameter, I don't know which is uh, implied uh, in this epic epic uh, works. So um, 
So at that time I started a Go Guardian, um, this collection of series. And okay, and then he, he was reading to me uh, this story and I spontaneously um, was creating uh, this sculpture like this. But for me also, it's kind of very, uh, this was its serial trigger. But uh, otherwise, um, how I can say, when I was younger, when I was younger, I was very much, uh, uh, let's say, uh, I want you to be like like an uh, like a man. So I want you to be really to behave like a man. To be like I was a little bit uh, fashy. Uh, I was angry on all these um, male artists, which who can I don't know. They they change uh, mattresses. They they somehow they. Uh, somehow society uh, tolerates them, but when when one lady can would like to behave like this, it's not possible. So I had this um, kind of uh, duality, uh, and I was more inclined with with via male uh, this. And I, I for me, I I have taken years. Now that now I'm back, I'm back more in feminine energy, and I'm I love this. But it takes me really years, and I I have childrens, and so also with having childrens, I I began transformation, and another transformation uh, which was for me uh, after having children was that before I was never almost never um, painting uh, landscapes. But when uh, I entered this phase, I, will, I, I admired love, uh, doing a landscape because I, I really feel um, one with the nature when I, while painting. And this, this feeling I transcripted uh, into paintings. So this, we, we, we cannot see well, well this because it is, um, it is too big. It is very big painting uh, at the background we, we cannot see really but it is two solar panels and this is uh, a lot of uh, uh, sunset <laughs> the with um, yeah <laughs> oh, so beautiful so people get an understanding also of the fact that when you interact with concepts out there in the world as an artist you're also sometimes not always but going through personal transformation in yourself and Sometimes it's just an inspiration, a trigger, a seed, but it can really reflect a very deep part of a person to express it in the creative process. So for those of you on the live call, maybe you just need a reminder that we're here talking about the power of creativity and what it can reflect. Norma just shared with us her Franco-Slovenian background as a child of a physician and a mother who was an architect painter. And really she was being read the um she was yeah, the, the ancient myth of yeah. odyssea and she really did have a very interesting experience doing all of this and uh, her expression now on one of these pieces of art was really the hermaphrodite and what it represents in ancient myth in um the Iliad and really her journey uh, also wanting to be a man coming into womanhood motherhood later with children and we started this all off saying that we're going to have a chance to do an actual creative process with Norma she first showed us a sketch so to Caroline Lockhart Namisha Bardwaj Patricia Elizabeth Torres from Mexico thank you so much for joining Maria Nicola Timbias Monique, Monique, Winky Singh from India, Venus Renata, and all of the others on the box, Cheryl Sprintal, those are the names I can see. Maybe you want to just keep in mind that we're going to be going to a creative process in a minute, but we're getting the final story of all these beautiful uh, artworks that I see you work in so many different mediums, Norma, like clay, and I think those sculptures you had on the floor, the female Buddhas, what are they made of? They are from polyester, polyester resin. The, the, so, so it is um, like the the uh, boats are made of this. this okay. Yes, uh, yes, I've seen that before. 
So it's um, a, a really uh, amazing experience to have you work in front of us and see us how quickly you do things because that was something I wasn't expecting. And of course, um, there's a whole lot more that we are going to be showing people in this little video. So give me an idea. Do you want to uh, tell us a little bit more about your work or would you like us to show that video? So um, mainly, okay, I will just uh, uh, expose briefly those three concepts I'm, I'm working on. Then I will do the first uh, little bigger sketch here. Then you will play a video and I, I will go to the, uh, to the atelier and then we will go uh, on the uh, paint, real painting process because here is more sketch design and after we'll be uh, with the with the um, uh, pencil uh, with the pencil uh, brushes <laughs> yeah uh, so actually um, yeah so on the one hand uh, this, the concepts or the projects I'm working are this NoraVision Decentralized means um, we are working on the kind of platform for artists, uh, which, uh, which will be backed, which is backed with the blockchain technology. And the main idea is that uh, when we have this system, um, uh, we can also get is the question of the evaluation of the artwork, which I'm, I'm very much uh, like, let's say, um, it, it works me a lot because we have a lot of, of uh, kind of, we don't have really a clue how the artwork it can be evaluated. Okay, we we know a little bit because with with the different when we are go going uh, more and more when we are do, doing exposition in the more uh, prestigious galleries, then our our uh, rating is going uh, up. But uh, I think that with uh, this decentralized system, with uh, which is based with blockchain, and when when the arts, when the artists and the artwork. Uh, will be somehow linked and um, with all the intellectual property uh, in some kind uh, of word will be of the artists or of artists, maybe art, um, visual artists or musical or any, any, uh, anyhow, anyone who is doing intellectual work. And you have intellectual property, even those videos, for instance. At the end, this should be somehow uh, registered and monetized uh, uh, at the end. And also, all the likes, all the uh, all these uh, kind of appreciation we are uh, given for to someone should be uh, linked and also. Kind so with all this we can say okay this artwork and all these artists uh, is getting more and more uh, visibility and therefore we have some with these algorithms and coding um, the, this this can be really um, tracked so uh, also uh, we are working with with some uh, some guy who has uh, these um, chips for the authenticity chips we can put, we can uh, put the, those chips at the, at the artwork and then certificate pops up so this is this is one uh, this is one uh, one project so here here is we have the and this so, but this will not um, say a lot but so it, it links artists and galleries and um, investors and collectors okay so this is one the second i was talking with you a little bit with you Elenik. so it's dora vision solar so in this project um, 
artists are painting on the solar panels their work the artists because we know that uh, the many of solar panels are being destructed or or just uh, put in somewhere because the actual uh, the actual um, uh, price for for uh, the recycling is more than it so it's better to reuse them in so, some some way so uh, we can we can expose those painted solar panels in the tunnels or in the metros or in the uh, or in the big airports or in the big public places and um, this is kind of static model and we have dynamic model where these uh, painted solar panels are sold uh, at the auctions and all this uh, found, all this um, material value is after is divided uh, for, to the, for the artists and then for the uh, for the maintenance of the platform and for the recycling of old solar panels so this is the second and uh, the third project is Norovision Bridge, uh, which is actually, uh, which was, um, it is actually the project for the women entrepreneurs. And uh, in, in it, it is kind of a facilitation for entering new markets via, via artistic approach. So, uh, the the woman entrepreneur, uh, she becomes an ambassador ambassador of art, re, uh, sustainability, culture, and heritage, and with with the help of artist creator, she is uh, she is enabling to to do a, she is um, producing kind of of a product, uh, which is a kind of art product. Which this can be this can be ceramic or glass or paintings or or textile or scarf, but uh, with the elements of the cultural identity, cultural heritage of the initial country from which where she is coming, and for the targeted country where she will go, she would like to go, so that this pro object have has the elements of initial business of this woman entrepreneur, elements of cultural identity, cultural heritage of both countries and uh, artistic, um, holistic approach from the artists. So it's kind, and uh, maybe at the end, I will post some kind of survey which, uh, which can guide you, your reflection via this uh, kind of uh, view, if you might be interested. So this, that's it. I'm very oh. interested in that myself. And I also think, Norma, we must try and create some kind of uh, offer or way for women in the inner circle, the women of truth inner circle, are mm -hmm. women who are really being trained to become greater leaders for the big change we are now facing, but also to take their message out into the world and to find the right publicity, visibility and growth strategies to do that. And one of the collaborations we have is to work with certain female networks that actually support women to have opportunities to speak, to be seen, to promote what they do. And with you, it would be really lovely if we could look at how it could work to offer one of these kinds of collaborations with you and that project mm -hmm. for entrepreneurs through the inner circle and maybe that could be a really beautiful way to actually mm -hmm. select very specifically interested in art entrepreneurs and also ones who can make this really interesting connection um, you know sometimes there's this wonderful um, phrase in marketing they call it cross across merchandising it means like Somebody might have a very direct interest in a specific country that has a specific artist, etc. There's a direct link. But sometimes when you overlap something, you know, like you bring an entrepreneur into a place where there is an artistic culture and there doesn't seem to be a match in the beginning, but there could be a really powerful synergy of a kind of mediation collaboration that happens that really benefits both without them ever having to search for that, you know then we yeah. really offer some lovely things together just from sitting on a bus at the Women's yeah. Economic Forum. I hope you're all listening, just reaching out to some wonderful woman or noticing those accidental moments 
there is great synchronicity in them. And I really believe uh, that to be true now more with the women that I'm meeting. I met Samia purely because I asked her to take a photograph. We are now building a project together for Pakistan. And with you, Norma, also this very beautiful connection we have today. So thank you for sharing that. I didn't quite understand the first one of the Bitcoin project. So maybe can you just recap that for us? I've got here the solar panel recycling, but you're giving us an idea that people can join up with these projects or not. Make that a bit clearer for me, so I'm I'm not giving uh, so yeah so information. This first first project is uh, it's quite um, I need funding for to because we have platform we have this Noravision MITV uh, I will I can uh, just uh, share screen maybe or maybe not I don't know um, maybe I will I don't know how it's not uh, so. When it will be um, in the place, then people can directly join to the to the platform. I will show you just the, the initial platform, but it is not yet backed with the with the not, not with big Bitcoin. Blockchain is the system. Uh, it's somehow uh, it is linked with Bitcoin with with this idea of peer to peer uh, transparent sharing. So <laughs> it's, it's. I think I understand. You're saying that so people can buy the artwork using Bitcoin. Is that right? Um, it will be. So it is not. It is. It is not the main idea. It is also possible. And there are also other platform where where it is already possible, but the main idea is that. We are not because Bitcoin is kind of currency. Blockchain is not a currency; it is a technique. Blockchain is like um, how can I do? Uh, Bitcoin is something that is a monetary currency. We have Bitcoin, we have Litecoin, Ether, Ether, uh, whatever. Okay, okay, and, sure. and, and and blockchain is the is the is the system is the uh, this system also bitcoin is using blockchain okay in, in the fact. yeah 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 it's uh, it is blockchain is based like basic technology and um, when we can when we can link maybe i was uh, other day i was also listening to some guy who was uh, speaking about digital digitalization of, yeah. of uh, England now and he was saying something that for me it was a little bit the same that every person will have some, some kind of wallet with all his um, all his data all his likes all everything and he can sell this data to the uh, to, to others you know and then I, I'm thinking about this that every person every artist I'm speaking about artists uh, will will have some kind of base of all his works um, linked to, to him and all his exhibitions and all this and when all this will will ha um, is is getting one uh, wholeness we can say okay this artist is we can evaluate uh, so much this artist because it will be it is um, kind of contributing directly because when when our, now we are at auctions, okay, the price is going ups and down, and very sometimes there are I don't know, for, like like it was the this also this banana sold. I, it's also in video. I'm talking about this this banana of Maurizio Catalan, which was sold on uh, 120. Thousand uh, dollars on on our Miami, and uh, actually it's just banana scotch uh, on the wall. So it's a, only the concept we are in this case. But got it, got it. It's yeah. very interesting uh, to know that you're focused as an artist and others are as well on sustainable production of artistic work, and that it's on the agenda now for a, a summit we're planning end of May on sustainability, like I told you about working with Femme Diamonds to do this. And I think it's a very important message for 
everyone watching to start to understand that this is the future. This is how you stay relevant with your message for the future is that you step up to the plate, you take on the challenge, you align with the elevation in, of destiny that we are now being called to, to begin to think more about the planet and how you fit into that. And sustainable development goals is the way to do that. So the project on solar panel recycling, there's another one here on involving Bitcoin and blockchain. And this third one of really getting entrepreneurs to represent ambassador in culture and uh, different um, the business, kind of this cultural, mixture of culture and business, different yes. kind of cultural entrepreneurial processes this is very interesting. We've got a comment here from Monique. Monique, she really is falling in love with you. Uh, no? <laughs> she's saying now that she would uh, love to meet you again because she's saying they are so beautiful, amazing experience. Yes. <laughs> Monique here, she is awesome. I, do, I don't, I don't see, I don't see her. Yeah, that's on the Facebook message. Okay, I don't see okay, her. Okay, okay. And then I said to her, yes, well, right. <laughs> we will invite her to share her work again live, maybe, I think, Monique, Monique. And she replied to that saying, yes, I'd love to see her again. Her artworks are so beautiful. And the words that she uses have a very deep meaning. She's very spiritual and many more. Love her. That's from Monique, Monique. And then we've thank got four ladies joining on. Selena, Pina, Shemo, thank you for joining. It would be lovely to work with you too because I know we were thinking of a domestic violence panel and we are still pulling that together. I just reached out to someone new again today. And Daniel McDermott, the lovely lady drummer friend of mine who recorded a video with me, went on YouTube and it went viral. So there's like over 600,000 views on that video. And it's all because oh. of <laughs> your powerful rhythm. Thank you for joining. Nasiba oh. Akhtar is coming on now, who also works for inequality and wanting to work with young women, adolescents, teenagers. It's a great call for you, Nasiba, because here you see a lot of feminine inspired artwork, but also enormous uh, spectrum is so wide. She uh, works a lot with certain triggers, but also goes into deep process with her work. Norma, it's two o'clock on the hour. We have one more hour left and I'm letting everyone yeah. know on the live call that we actually have a chance to do an artistic process with Norma. So if you have anything around in your workspace or in your home that you can collect, we're going to ask you to fetch that so that we can move into a live artistic process. How exciting is that? We're going to uh, see if we can get the videos working again because we, we have to stream two videos from the same space so that you can see what Norma's doing and listen to her. We're gonna work on that. And last words before we switch over to the new format, Norma, what else would you like people to know? So, um, okay, okay, now, so th is the final thing we do here uh, in, in the gallery. I will, um, I will do one, my, a little bit bigger uh, drawing. Um, so it will be, I don't know, five, seven minutes. Then I finish this, you, and you, you play video and I prepare on the others, on the studio, uh, and I will be doing on the solar panel. So it will be quite um, exciting, I think. <laughs> that sounds amazing. So let me tell you one thing. You need to start that video again because I switched it off, uh, hoping it, it's going to reboot because it was frozen. So let's try and reboot that video. Let's see if that works. And everyone's standing right now to see the new painting on the solar panel or the drawing on the solar, solar panel. So on your phone, just see if you can reboot that video and see if we can get it running. <laughs> Uh, so no, now, now I'm doing just here again uh, one uh, one drawing on the uh, in the in the oh, I will approach here that you will mm -hmm. see on the okay I will prepare I will this this okay. will be small um, this will be ki kind of aquarelle just uh, five minutes three, three minutes <laughs> beautiful okay lovely so we're watching this new process here and. For those of you on the Facebook Live, you can now see this new camera being set up so that you can actually watch this new drawing happening. And for, for those who came on a little later, Asta Tamutian, Nasiba Akhtar, and Manila, and Selena, uh, Namisha, Caroline, and Patricia, I'm not sure if you heard in the beginning, but I actually sat on the bus to go to the Giza pyramids for dinner with Norma de Saint Pickman recently when I went to Egypt. And in fact, we were deciding whether we should go with myself and Viola, a good friend of mine. Um, 
because it was this corona scare and we were not sure if it was a responsible decision to go or not, but it was really remarkable because the Egyptian government had testing at the airport and everybody was tested, their temperature, etc. And we actually went in there and uh, hopefully came out safe. I think we did come out safe and we, we had a really synchronistic meeting because it was apparently now the last meeting conference that I could have attended uh, before the lockdown and during the lockdown and many more after that were cancelled. So it was a very powerful chance meeting to now sit down next to Norma and you see what's possible when you actually just invite yourself into what destiny prepares for you. And we had a chat, she gave me one of her art books and I had no idea the kind of caliber of work or who she is or anything about it because I just didn't get a chance to network with everybody, obviously. And we had this one last shot, it was the last one, right? And I met both her and Dr. Uh, Embreen, who's a chronic illness specialist. And here we are sharing with you uh, what we both have as a very strong conviction that creativity is a very powerful catalyst for change. There are many ways that we can actually use the creative process to develop more of what's in the unconscious mind and use that with the conscious mind to unfold more of our deeper truth and to connect more with our deeper truth. As we're also prepping for the space, I want to share with you something I've been working on today which is the sacred feminine. And for those of you that are watching, you'll know something about this, I'm sure many more people around the world are starting to talk about the rise of female leadership and the importance of emotional intelligence and the feminine in general in all of us, we call it the, the animus in psychology. So it's not just in women. But it happens to live and reside in women quite powerfully when a woman gets into her healthy femininity. And the quote that I want you to think about as we move into today's session is only through working together with a sacred feminine in ourselves and with each other can we actually heal and transform the world. And this means to honor her presence within our bodies and our soul in the ground we walk on and the air we breathe. Many people don't know this message of how important it is to integrate our inner creativity, love, and nurturing for ourselves and our own life, our own lifestyles with how we treat the planet. But this is what the sacred feminine is really about. It's looking at the planet as a sacred being that is generously offering us an opportunity to live here. And as you see this beautiful image coming through, um, I want us to just mindfully, intentionally, if possible, plant this message just very simply into ourselves a bit deeper. How can we contribute towards that message getting out there a little clearer? We have a chance tomorrow on a seminar called Epic Female Leaders to learn about the research, the blind spots, and fix some of them to do this. And for those of you watching today, we start that process of looking seriously at how can we help this integration happen? Is it through creativity? Is it through entrepreneurship? Is it through business? Is it through writing? What is your take on it and how can you be a contributor, an agent for change in the world to help the world understand how we need to treat the outside with as much respect as we treat our inside? And if we're not doing that enough, we start with the inside, respecting ourselves on the inside so that we can show more respect to everything around us. Thanks so much, Norma, for this. It's a process yeah. experience. I'm going to mute and have you share with us what you're doing. Thanks for invitation, really. What are you doing there? So uh, I will show after. So it's like it's uh, actually one, one feminine um, visage and uh, two flowers or two, I don't know, maybe uh, trees. It will be it will be almost. Uh, so I don't know now if I can go like this I will, I will try to go with computer i don't know you can see you can see like this do you can see you can see like this or not yeah, uh, better the way you had it before better okay 
Okay. So. <laughs> Talk about talent. Look at that. Just flows like a fountain of inspiration through your hand. Pardon? It flows like a fountain of inspiration through your hand. Yeah. Wow. So this power partnership that can help, uh, help unfold more opportunities for people in your network with people in the other person's network is such an important skill that we have when we relate to each other and share what we know with each other. You see now that Norma's taking us on a journey through her own expression, her own experience in life is to work creatively and see the world creatively. So she moves very quickly on this palette. And because we sat on a bus together, all of you that are in my network are getting to experience this. <laughs> I know I have the tendency to state the obvious, but I am, I am stating it to, to just share with you how powerful connection really is. When you relate to each other, connect with each other, look what's possible. So your world can open up to someone else's world through this powerful networking and powerful collaboration that we are exercising every time we come together as women. We have this amazing skill of relating, collaborating, connecting. And through the Women's Economic Forum, one of the networks we refer women to in the inner circle, you get priceless opportunities to meet very special women because they are in their heart with what they do. Okay. And so very open, easy to connect with. There's no intimidation. There's no threat. There's no proving one stuff better than the other. It's amazing. Okay. So um, I it's finished for now. Uh, I don't know you, if you, I will see, okay, like this, maybe. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, because I cannot really, uh, it's kind of feminine phase we have, and, uh, and always doing this kind of, um, I, I lo love to do earrings and I love to put uh, very vivid colors and, and contrast with, with the red and the green, which are complementary colors. And obviously I'm uh, using more diluted color on the face and uh, here, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so now, yes, now I will change uh, which we are two and uh, 11. So I will change uh, place. And if you can, Erinik, maybe. Um... I will, I'll show this video. We've got a beautiful video by Norma. So we'll see you on the other side in your basement in a minute. Take care. Yes, right? thank you. <laughs> I totally love. So we're gonna, can I switch this camera off, Norma? Pardon? Can I keep this camera on or switch it off? Uh, no, I think I, I will keep on. Uh, on and if I cannot, I will join once again if okay. it will break because it's another uh, internet. I will leave it. Okay, so everybody out there, get ready now. I'm going to share my screen. Don't get scared by how many things are on my dashboard. And uh, I will show this very interesting video. It's actually called Norma de Saint Pickman. Arts mean old. development, creativity, and prosperity. So let me see if the link will work like that. No, so uh, I'm gonna do it another way then. Okay, great, uh, the, the link is, is great. So we're going to move now to uh, this shared screen. You can see my screen now, and you see all of yourselves here on 
Facebook as well. And here we go. A very interesting video by Norma. Hi. Hi, Norma here. So, I'm in this hotel with Scott. And to the end of the And I'm presenting it tomorrow. I just kind of asked the man to come. So, I will go to the office now. Um, There are many ways to be courageous in the world, but creativity is one of the most courageous. Was a quote of our dear Mansim Hajan after my presentation of the last event in Ljubljana. Dear wonderful leader, Dr. Carbino Aurora, dear sisters, dear soul sisters. I'm extremely honored to be here today, celebrating the empowerment of creativity in every woman to build general pathways to prosperity. We all know that art is something very intimate, profound in us, that expresses our soul, feelings, subconsciousness, but also our sensitivity for beauty and harmony as well, in all of its different shapes and medias. From that kind of inner necessity and inner feelings, Lots of expressive works have been done. On the other hand, arts are often being used by imperials, kings, in political as well as in the religious domain, to show their power and grandiosity. And often those two aspects are being interlaced. So we can witness magnificent pyramids of Giza and Saqqara, the Blue Mosque, Gothic churches. Notre Dame et Saint Denis Basilique, Aya Sophia, Taj Mahal, Sistine Chapel, Oversight Castle. Nowadays, we admire arts exposed in museums as being cultural domains. We have Venice Biennial and others. But arts can penetrate also in more commercial spaces, as it is in the case of Joanna Vasconcello's exposition. A big white lace and pearls woman, Valkyrie, in the central space of Beaumarchais luxury commercial space in Paris. We can summarize that arts can be also a highly promotional tool for contemporary wealthy people, as it is in the case of her own view and his Palazzo Grassi Foundation. In spite of the fact that art is beautiful, necessary, and that cultural heritage is an uncontestable value, there are issues with evaluation of the artworks. And for instance, we can see enormous shift between an additioned comedian, a ready-made artwork of Italian artist Maurizio Catalan, a wall scotch banana, sold at our Miami for $120,000, and the fact that many artists hardly sell something. So I'm Norma Desantopan, intermediate artist, painter, and sculptor, founder of Nora Vision Gallery and Nora Vision Decentralized Art Ecosystem. This was internationally, had 50 personal shows by graphics being included in Bibliothèque Nationale collection in Paris. 
I am focusing also on sculptural projects in the context of architectural environment. After years being an independent artist, I really to shift to more structured part of Wales. And we are actually partnering with arts in the Sky Museum platform, exhibiting mainly female artists and focusing on limited edition things. In the 80s, I realized sarcophage for the essence of my thesis. Sarcophage with multiple love being exposed in Grand Palais, Paris, temporarily in front of the Grand Palais. Then we had sacrifice in John Comcastle, Louisiana. Out of the world, Ljubljana Castle, consonances, color of dances, Ljubljana Castle, associated fragments of reality that Saka calls Morgadari, and parallels in Mona, the Green Queen, Fire, Earth, Air, the Little Plant, Witch Plant, oil paintings. And parallels, Diana Scrum, exposing present and wives, Diana, Jack, and Melania, with a croon of deer antlers, which are in this context a croon of flowers and of dummies. For contemporary events, I included Lara and Soleil painting on solar panels, a prototype of Norovision Solar, an auction and tuning installation project for artists in the spirit of sustainable creative recycling of used solar panels. We have a dynamic model, painted panels being sold at auctions, and a static model. Paintings are placed in big public spaces, metros, tunnels, airports, and funds collected are transferred partly to artists, partly for curatorial work, and maintainers of a platform and a part for recycling of old solar panels. As fixing the right value of the artwork in the current art market system is quite a difficult task. I believe blockchain, EDLC, and AI technology can help solve the problems of trust, transparency, provenance, traceability, along with more accurate monetary evaluation processes. As our why is fueled by personal pain points. This is artists in the center of the ecosystem, tokenize themselves so they may be able to share gross revenues to communities of investors, collectors, auction houses, and galleries via digital security offering. Every step in career, every artwork, history of accomplished trades, share the likes, life of an artist is traced, contributing to augmented value of an artwork. Norovision is a decentralized arts ecosystem to which an eclectic pool of art collectors, investors, auction houses, and galleries gather in efforts to raise awareness of the world's most talented artists through liquidable digital asset investment, an AI powered digital community, and blockchain driven authenticity and tracking protocol. Each member of the Norwegian ecosystem acts as a node which has the capacity to engage in smart contract based transactions and data sharing. Artwork is double certified and traced via digital platform, software, and a smart chip, hard that very certificate. But what we can see is a common digital platform with blockchain running in the back office. Novavision MITV SI is a first prototype with all of the classified works in two and three dimension video classification to categories. I guess that in the future, there will be kind of coalition between different platforms through which the proper value of an artwork will be generated. Digitals like arts is such to be linked with blockchain platforms, Vastari, Art Gallery, Monar, etc. But for today's presentation, along with the overall idea of the conference, culture and creativity, creating pathways of prosperity, I would like to expose Nora Vision Bridge project in which we created a model of accessing new markets in a smooth and elegant fashion. Nora Vision Bridge is designed for successful women entrepreneurs just like you are. Accessing new markets being ambassadors of art, business, and heritage, creation, and sustainability. Woman ambassador expresses her songs of beauty and art through her choice of initial object, surface, material, through local craftsmen with coordination of an artist creator. Designing a product which represents her business, however aligned with cultural identity of both countries. Created art product being graphics, ceramics, textile, painting, or wood carving, 
combined with multiplication processes serves as a gift or a reward for her business partners for enlightened overall design of new offices by sand blasted windows, windows, granite glass, ceramics. To mention great uh, Indian artist Sandershan Shetty and Portuguese artist Joana Vasconcelos, or architects Antonio Gaudi, Cadiz, and Joseph Plechnik, Greek stone and wrought iron combination, or Hazel Tahat Hussein, spectacular world morals, or Halit Hafez strike in juxtaposition of traditional and contemporary iconography, everybody deeply dotted in tradition. Created object incorporates three layers the activity and business of a woman ambassador, inclusion of the crafts and production of local and target country, inclusion of the artistic intervention of an artist. The concept is based on cooperation and mutual benefit between Dollar Vision Bridge Ambassador, local craftsmen, and the art. Inclusion of artistic approach and cultural identity aspect into initial business evolves greater humanistic cultural dimension and therefore makes greater impact and success intensify business as it speaks on the multidimensional level of female entrepreneurship. You can connect with me via social media and I prepare also for you a gift as well, which is accessible online in a form of survey that will guide your reflections to certain steps to start this adventure smoothly if you might be interested. Thank you very much for your attention. Welcome back, everybody. Very exciting okay. opportunity, isn't it? Giving you all this incredible uh, information about Norma the Tank. Okay, so we we can, you can you can see me and it's okay like this. I can see you. I just need to stop the video. Just one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can see your studio now, and we also have. Uh, that on the big screen on the Zoom, it's showing up well. And then we just check on Facebook, we have that as well. So Very it's good. in the studio a little bit, I show. Very nice. So this is Norma the Saint Pickman uh -huh. Nasiba is asking on Facebook. To Glynis Austin, Kathleen Jons, Rusty Fulgout, and Katrina Sutrik Ni Tineka Renson. This is Norma de Saint Pickman. She is a Franco Slovenian artist. We just watched an incredible video about her presentation recently in Egypt, Cairo, where we met. We sat on the bus together. And here we are, sharing our worlds with you. And uh, we have uh, the uh, chance to be in her studio in the basement now. And we're going to do an art process. So if you don't have something nearby, that you can use. Maybe you want to run and fetch even just a pen and a nice piece of paper. But give yourself this chance to really get. Yeah. So if anybody has a, a paper, I'm using a board. <laughs> I'm so excited. So uh, yes, if anybody wants to to do something live, also I will go in live now. And uh, if you have a pencil and paper, or so it's a chance to do a creative process. That's why we invited Norma. So I really mm -hmm. want to encourage you to go and fetch something, even if it's a piece of paper with a pencil. That's all you have. But maybe you even want to make an effort, go and get some crayons or maybe some paints and a paintbrush. Norma's going to speak now and tell us what to do. So uh, uh, it's a mo uh, say a moment, no? I I speak now. <laughs> okay. So yes, hello. So we are back in my studio in the basement. Um, so yes, it is, these are mostly figurative works, but also I, I will do after a little bit, maybe um, around. But here we, we, we have to go because we are almost, we have only about uh, half an hour. So, um, so this is, uh, so you can, you can do whenever you, you are, you, you feel comfortable is really only to exercise a little bit uh, your your hand and uh, to to 
to have this fluid process between our thinking and our hand. So go ahead, don't carry if it's if um, it does not uh, have some precise form. It is not about. It is all about the process and of the process of uh, gesture also because sometimes all, when we are looking at what our uh, children are doing, they are often doing just gestures and and very rapidly. I was I have yesterday one li live with uh, children, and uh, we they have uh, been uh, sharing screens, and it was really they were just doing uh, whatever, but uh, but with different colors it gets some composition, it gets uh, one uh, vivid expression. So just go ahead, and uh, uh, if you don't have a pen, pens and paper, then you can uh, you can. Uh, open wide document in the screen sharing and do also there there is um, zoom have this uh, kind of uh, white paper with different kind of scale of um, pencils uh, yes so I, I will go ahead and you you go also <laughs> and then we will we can share uh, you can share after with me maybe or with everybody what you have been producing so and about, I don't know, I maybe I will do about 10 or 15 minutes maximum and then um, I'm go back to you. So let's start.
So I just check. Oh, it's okay. Um, so. <laughs> I go uh, more near. I hope internet. Okay. So um, I finished for now. It's quite uh, brief, very brief uh, painting. And actually, I was, if, if we go a little bit uh, like this back, um, we can see that it is kind of um, of a face of an a mute. I wanted to do uh, uh, firstly. I wanted to do um, a face of uh, a woman, and actually, I was thinking about Hellenic with the with the, this kind of flowers in the in the hair. Uh, she was some days ago, but okay, it turned differently now and. Um, it's kind of um, young man here. And so we go going just near to see the, the structure, the colors, violet, green, and uh, etc. And so now, yes? I'm having such fun. I'm still painting, yeah? Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> No, okay, 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 perfect. So, okay, I will do then, I will, if you are painting, I will just go ahead, go around. I will do a tour of, uh, a visit of a studio. Yeah. Yeah. So here is a man and woman, uh, actually a couple. 
It's a quite big painting. It's two meter per, per one meter. And uh, yeah. Uh, it was it was done with uh, so it's oil on canvas, and it was done with uh, with the kind of graphite, uh, this big um, pencil, uh, without without uh, wooden part, and um, on the on the it was kind of luck uh, impregnation first, and then I put colors and I put uh, again luck after it was finished. Here we have um, one girl with, uh, with the flowers, with the white roses. There's a very, application of paint is very, very thick here. So it's very thick. And here we have uh, women, uh, two women. Actually, this is um, uh, mother and daughter. It's all... Um, painting, oil painting. And here we have also, if you go more near, we, we see the thick applications and we see that there is a kind of uh, also golden leaf applied and uh, go, yes. Yeah. And we continue here. We have one young uh, girl, an uh, act, young girl. Actually, is the painting on the, is the painting on the wood, uh, which is impregnated with a very thick uh, uh, something that gives you kind of uh, uh, relief. Yeah. Okay. I'm continuing here, and this is a painting uh, of my daughter, actually. Uh, she's she she's very very gifted painter, and but she's studying architecture. So she made this. Uh, it is oil painting uh, three years ago, and now she's nineteen. So she was sixteen. Uh, really, <laughs> it's very beautiful. And um, here, Here is a painting of uh, my, my son. And also this is a little bit more, more dark, but uh, it's interesting the composition and uh, application of this red and uh, black here inside, okay. So here I will not approach more, but we'll go there. So we have uh, there, um, there are two ladies. One was a portrait lady with a, with a dog and the other is a very big painting, but in two parts. We, we see just uh, the first part. And we see there the flowers, uh, rose and jasmine, and uh, one portrait in the background. It is a portrait of an actress, an actress. And we have a little bit uh, of a portrait of one Slovenian composer here, but we, we, we see only the half dead, half of head. Um, and here, this is. This is um, image uh, when, when I was uh, doing uh, homage to Kobe Bryant uh, when he was deaf. So with his daughter here. Who is that? Uh, Kobe Bryant, you know this. Um, no, who is it? Uh, Kobe Bryant is a very famous um, basket. <laughs> How it's called? Uh, I don't know, as it's basket. So sport sport player who was uh, that in kind of accident and uh, everybody it was very uh, it, he was very popular but i love this um, uh, photograph with his uh, with his daughter so i was painting this this one beautiful and uh, here is uh, so here's also the 
part of the other series, uh, Diana, so uh, parallel is Diana's queen. Uh, what, are the what do they represent for you that you put them on these portraits? What do okay. they represent the antlers, Norma? Yes, 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 yes. So I don't know, now uh, if we can go, now we have uh, 15 minutes. If we can, uh, I don't know if somebody or you want to show or I don't know. I'm going to show you all what I painted just so you can okay. see it. Very, very, very boring. Look. No. Uh, I just I'm... painted blue and red because I'm trying to find the exact color, uh, the shade rather of purple that I will have as my new backdrop. For some of my videos <laughs> and i love working on very big space with very big spaces it's not uh creating actually recognizable things just very abstract so i do a lot of stuff no, on the floor, and when i have space i make big stuff but now i have very small space so that's all i had space for it was lovely doing this with you norma thank you very much for sharing your world uh, also also for your, your work Elenik, when uh, it will I, I see that you are doing abstract and mm -hmm. when you will have occasion to do uh, really a big it will be very um, i think for you it will be very um, deliberating liberating process yeah when you will do i'm gonna get say, liberated norma and, and no i think um, actually i am i am after winter after lockdown i'm feeling so much more like i need to paint on these big spaces yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't have the space here so i'm trying to convince myself that i can do it safely in an apartment and make sure that nothing else will get painted on um, Helenik, it's also option that you go outside yeah Maybe. You can do outside. I'm uh, often doing off outside, but then yeah. okay, this problem with transport. But um, yeah, it's an but option. It's it's beautiful to do uh, things outside. <laughs> yeah, I think it would yes. be lovely. I just don't know in the parks, and you know, I have a huge park here where I live. I'm just wondering if they would be offended by me using paint. You grass in the park, you know, because sometimes that's yeah. kind of toxic. And I just don't know, it's not going to be a big deal, but especially if it's a big painting, you know, like a the three problem meters. is transport, problem is transport. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I don't know for, for the parks, because you cannot with, enter with the car, you can, uh, you have only to, to walk. So then therefore not, you have to, uh, to ask for help uh, somebody. If yeah. somebody will help you, then it's okay. Yeah, now well, maybe I can make that happen. And when you did this, I was thinking it would be really beautiful if we could have uh, maybe once a month a kind of live class with you, but people sign up, they pay for a class and they come mm -hmm. and you could take us through some kind of process, you know, because yeah, I see yeah, yeah. you, you yeah. like to teach. Do you ever do that teaching? Yeah. Okay, we can try. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see. Next um, month or yeah. If people yeah. would like that, we can maybe think about doing that because I think uh, working with someone uh, in different mediums is, you know, something, some people also, they get intimidated by the creative process because they've already decided they're not artistic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them they're no good. And I think it's so wonderful that you shared how it's all about the gestures. It's about mm -hmm. unleashing inside of you, giving yourself permission to just express yourself and yeah. we all need yeah, not, not to, to think what it will represent and all, all these things okay yeah yeah absolutely. we can analyze after we can analyze after yes, yes. in the yeah. beginning you just go through the process so you shared with us all these paintings that i now now have seen your sculptures on the top and your paintings at the bottom and we saw that amazing presentation where for those of you that have just joined the group People always join as we're about to finish. And it's still lovely to have you, Glynis Austin, Kathleen Jons, Rusty Folgout, Katrina Sutfried Nee, Tina Karensen, Ilvin Koja, and Lucy Pribble. We had a whole live here where Norma showed us her sculptures at the beginning of this call. And she showed us a lot of different works in clay and in um, 
colors, uh, ceramics. Uh, ceramics, but the, the other synthetic material. Polyester, polyester. Polyester. Okay, polyester, I, I finished a little bit because it's very toxic, you know. Um, this yeah. um, French artist, Niki de saint -Fal, she was really, I love her work and she was lo doing lots of uh, works in the polyester, but uh, okay, uh, at the end she had problem with the, with the, with the Pumo. Uh, how it's called, uh, lungs, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. going to be careful now. And that's why your sustainability projects are so interesting. And I think m some of you know, but maybe you didn't notice, all of you, that that was actually a solar panel that Norma's painting on. And she has a desire to uh, help more of these panels get recycled. And so artists are using them in different ways. And she uses to, them to paint on. And she has a few other projects. You can go up and look on the box maybe you want to become involved in her entrepreneurs supporting uh, culture and business project, which we're going to be offering through the Women of Truth Inner Circle. I want to ask you, uh, Norma, your opinion on what you think the most uh, interesting thing is that you've been learning about through going through your own personal lockdown retreat in your home, and this whole experience that you've been in as an artist, you shared on one of our high tea parties. There's another one on Sunday, by the way, if you're watching and you want to have a nice friendly chat with the girls, 5 p.m. Central Eastern Time Sunday. Mm -hmm. in, that, in that call, you shared how you have uh, some archetypal kind of ideas in your mind as an artist about this lockdown. Maybe you can share that with people. It was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> For, for me, uh, it's big, I, I will just put the, the computer on uh, just just one moment here on there because I'm just one moment. Okay. So let me just fill you in for you while you watch. Uh, Norma is uh, a, a artist in different mediums and you can actually see her work at the top of this video. She's going to tell us now what lockdown means for her from your creative world. What 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 came up for you? Um, so, okay, I, for me, it was a little bit uh, the thing upside down because uh, I, was, uh, I was already living some kind of uh, lock, uh, some kind of isolated life yeah. while even before I was just um, going uh, for some, some it was very focused, uh, focused things. I was going out like on the project or some kind, but there was a lot of time I was living like we are living now. So for me, it is really, really not something new. And um, for me, I feel very comfortable. And I feel uh, for me, the, the, what is was for new uh, for, for me, it was more on the, on the, um, uh, this, familiar side that are that now um, I'm experiencing back this um, uh, I'm li like um, feeling the whole ha family is more more um, uh, more linked and because before we did not have it is not really artistic what I'm talking about but I'm uh, talking really what how it uh, affects my life so, so uh, because before during during the week we did not have uh, common meals. Everybody was uh, doing uh, his uh, his uh, his work, school. Uh, everybody was outside, and they they were g getting home uh, at the evening more, more or less. And now it's different. It's like a very a shy a hike uh, family. Um, we, we are we are all waiting that this time we have a uh, common lunch and so it's kind of a um, little bit to really to reviving ba back to the this qualities of family which was in the past uh, more or less and for the other for the other side uh, what what was for my professional work it was opening we are global community this was the the also the professional effect because it's easier now to it was easier to to access many people now uh, even on the professional uh, level 
because they were locked, they were at home. So they were really more, more uh, likely to, to talk and to access. So it, is, it was my experience. Beautiful. And you shared something also about uh, an artist's kind of journey in a time like this um, is also a very uh, interesting one because I think we've, we've seen through your work and we talked uh, about this on some of our calls that we are really in a time of great change right now and all the sustainability that you've been thinking about has become really important for you. Can you share with us why? Why did you start thinking about painting on solar panels, about moving away from certain mediums? What's your way of explaining that? Um, it is, uh, okay, I, uh, on one hand, I'm very, uh, very practical person. <laughs> so um, huh. I've seen, I've seen, um, actually, if I'm honest, I've seen this uh, idea of painting on uh, solar panels uh, on one um, artsy auction, uh, not this summer, don't, don't, um, summer before already. And then I was like kind of obsessed to try this. And I was actually talking with two, with two companies, uh, which are, um, one company is Sun Contract, with, and they are based on blockchain uh, like, uh, energy sharing. Because I once uh, at the time also I I wanted to put uh, solar panels on my I have one big roof, but then okay, it was not affordable for me yet. So we started with this, but then after all these discussions, they I asked for the panels, and oh, okay, they give me used uh, solar panels. So I, I uh, tried, I started with all this and I exposed this also in uh, contemporary Venice. Um, and it was really, they, they also loved very, very much this one because they're also very much, Venice is also very much uh, affected by all this climate change with the uh, Piazza San Marco um, in the water and all this. So actually after that, I was also painted, uh, painting uh, Piazza. I have three paintings uh, with Piazza San Marco uh, when, where the, the, the sea was, going, was covering all the piazza. And it was when, when the, the lights were reflecting on all that water, it was very beautiful. And I took this uh, also from with, I was uh, discussing with all this with my, one of my friends from Venezia. Anna Maria Reck, uh, which is go, which is doing um, Murano glass and uh, stoneware ceramics combination, Reco ceramics. Um, yes, and so for the other uh, for the other supplier of my solar panels, I was um, asking Bissol Company. Bissol Company is uh, actually a producer, a Slovene producer of uh, solar panels. So uh, these are from that for them because okay i love this because it's already framed it's uh, it's you, you don't have to do to do impregnation like you have to do uh, on the uh, normal normal um, this um, canvas uh, the the only the only problem is that it's, it's quite it's quite heavy it's about 20 kilos each one so it's quite heavy it's not so easy to transport but okay, when it is uh, put somewhere, it, it lasts. So there, that is. Beautiful. And I think it's a, a nice uh, moment to also ask you if you have a message for anybody out there that's been watching you and your creative work, your process. What would you like to tell people that are on this call or watch this video? Yeah. <laughs> So uh, I would like uh, first to congratulate and to to everyone that uh, jo who joined and who was with who was with us uh, more or less time or whatever, uh, because um, it's really um, it's for me it's amazing to share um, my knowledge my experience like this uh, from the from my home actually. 
And uh, I would like to encourage everyone, everybody uh, to really to, to find, um, to lock time for yourself, for your creation, for your creativity, to find a way which is the most suitable to you. So to know which kind of person you are, we are more via vis visible channel or via more auditive channel or which, are, which channel is the most appropriate to you or you want to dance, I don't know. So, and to find, to really lock uh, maybe one hour a day or maybe two hours every, some, every, every week, I don't know, it it's depends uh, on you, on, on your time. But um, to really uh, have this moment for you only in the lockdown, it means without, without any social media, without uh, anything. Uh, with with silence or with music you you like to, but it should not be too much um, aggressive, <laughs> I suppose. Um, and to do and to produce and to 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 find this um, creative uh, flux, which is actually going from the universe through to ourselves or from our our soul uh, via universe. So. And to find uh, the momentum and to find the technique which is more appropriate to you. Yes. Yeah. So really putting that time aside and taking it quite seriously that this is an opportunity to really go into your own creative process one hour a day with some beautiful music. If you can, and if you put kids at home, maybe you do it with them. If you're struggling to find the time or maybe even half an hour, if that's all you have. It's a very beautiful uh, message. Norma. I don't hear it's can you hear me now no well i can hear you and you can hear me and i think people on the live can still hear but maybe it's that connection that i don't hear i don't, I don't really know um, it's it's uh, internet i don't know it's um i don't hear uh, your yeah i can see you i cannot hear you uh, are kind of frozen now for for me um okay no well, oh, it's, it's okay i but you, you Image is frozen. I, I oh, well, I'm saying goodbye to everyone. And thank you so much to you as well, Norma. And for anybody that would like to see these links, oh. I'm going to put them on the video. And we can also visit some of this information in the future, if you like. And if you want to get in touch through the group Women of Truth Yin, you'll see more about how we will include um, the work of the entrepreneurs spreading culture and art into that group so you can get that information there and anyone interested to jump onto a live zoom with us and share what's happening just connect network collaborate there's amazing things happening in that group sundays at 5 p.m and or if you're struggling and you're really having a need for some emotional support some connection a deeper conversation I've heard women say that they find them so useful for that as well. And that's why we're doing them until the end of May. So it's an honor for us to have had Norma here. Thank you, Helenique, for inviting her on your live program, says Monique Monique. And Celine says, thank you for inviting us into your colorful and beautiful world. I'm going to put those on the box because it seems like we have lost the audio with Norma on her connection. Mm -hmm. And I will be putting her links. Hi. So... Uh, Last words from you, Norma, after you read my messages here from Facebook, people thanking you, feeling that it's a great honor to be sharing you and your world here. And your last comments for the live <laughs> sign off. So really, Helenik, thank you for inviting me and thank you for all the beautiful comments. Uh, we'll post maybe, um, again, I will post this survey, I will send to you a survey and then if somebody would like to get in contact, we will we'll do that. Um, so go ahead, be, be creative and um, focus, find the time really for yourself. Um, because uh, we are all that we are experiencing. experiencing um is from ourselves so we have to nurture and to cultivate this um 
our garden. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. We have to cultivate our garden. Everybody out there, I hope you finding a way to do that. Maybe you can include this one, an hour of art every day. And to you, Norma, thanks so much. Hola. Voilà, Aujourd'hui, donc, c'est un live avec Elinic Argiou. J'ai commencé avec euh, aussi une peinture sur le, le panneau solaire. Euh, et au fait, euh, c'est plutôt un jeune homme qui est sorti. On ne voit pas très très clair, mais je peux faire quelques retouches encore.
I don't check two every three. I should mal povadet. Yeah. 